Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for some more announcements. We have Radiance's June announcements this time, and I haven't really looked into these at all other than just seeing the title. So let's hey, let's do it together, see if there's anything interesting here. First up, we have Bandits of Orgo Solo and the Lost World. Uh, a Sardinian peasant is suspected of murdering following an encounter with bandits. In order to survive, he has no option but to turn to banditry himself. Winning multiple awards at the Venice Film Festival, Bandits of Orgo Solo continues the traditions of Visconti and De Sisa. Yet with his own style and rhythms, Vittorio De Seta musters just as much power as the earlier masters. This release includes De Seta's remarkable short film programme, The Lost World, compromising his Cannes Film Festival can Film Festival award-winning short films, Island of Fire, and others which survey Italy's poorest communities. Despite awards and plaudits on these releases, these incredible films only now make their English language debut on home video. Upon release, the bandits moved Martin Scorsese to observe. It was as if De Seta were an anthropologist who spoke with the voice of a poet. Disc One has the new 4K restoration from the OCN, uh, by the Film Foundation and Cineceta de Bologna uh, Laboratory in association with Tintis, with funding provided by Hobson Lucas Family Foundation. We've got a new interview with cinematographer, a new interview with filmmaker uh, Esan Kushbacht. Uh, Disc 2 is The Lost World, a programme of 10 restored short films by De Seta. I won't run through all of these just now. We've got an archival interview with the director. New interview with the filmmaker Eshan Koshbacht again. Trailer, optional English subtitles, reversible sleeve, limited booklet, and it's limited to 3,000 copies. That sounds, it sounds interesting. I kind of like when you have like a new filmmaker, which they often do, and then a bunch of short movies as well, which will be interesting, easy to jump through as well. It's out the 24th of the 6th. And yeah, it's it's included with the the bundle. All June releases get ten percent off if you add them at the cart and it ends April the third. Let's dive into the second title here. Sympathy for the Underdog by Kinji Fukasaku. Returning from a ten year prison sentence. Returning from a ten year prison sentence, former gang leader Gunji finds that his turf has been taken over by his former enemy, now a large crime syndicate with a legal corporate front. Looking for new opportunities, he gathers his old crew and heads to the island of Okinawa, a legal grey zone right for the taking, made just before Fukasaka's 1970 streak of Yakuza movie masterpieces. Sympathy for the Underdog is a key film in the development of the director's unique style and themes. It's Fukasaku, so you know kind of roughly what you're going to get. Uh, we have a high-def digital transfer, uncompressed mono PCM audio, audio commentary by Nathan Stewart, interview with Fukusaku biographer, visual essay on Okinawa on screen by Aaron Garou, trailer, new improved English subtitle translation, reversible sleeve, limited edition booklet, and it's limited to 3,000 copies. Like I said, uh, I'll watch anything Kinji Fukasaku has done that I haven't seen, and that's another one. And then we have another box set here, The Agitators, three provocations from the wild world of Jean-Pierre Mocky. Yet again, another filmmaker I've, I've never heard of. The box sets have been incredible so far. Jean-Pierre Mocky was a prolific icon in French cinema actor, director, novelist, and in-demand raconteur. Moke made mainstream films with an independent spirit, even owning a cinema to help distribute the films. Yet those films had a specific style, unmistakably his, often with controversial and outlandish themes. And he came to be known as a wild and untamable force, acting as an uncompromising agitator within the French film industry for over six decades. 
Three of his wild cinematic adventures from the 1980s are collected in this new box set. Cult horror sensation Litan, Hooligan horror Kill the Referee and Hitchcockian mystery Agent Trouble are presented from new 4K restorations on Blu-ray for the first time outside of France. Even just those little tidbits of quick tastes of what the movies are about has me intrigued. Worried by a disturbing dream, Nora wakes to find her husband missing during a trip to Latin. She goes out to find him, but encounters one bizarre event after another taking place at the village festival, including uncanny acts and a masked marching band. As Nora and Jock attempt to escape the village, a series of strange murders take place against the backdrop of a mad doctor performing experiments on the recently deceased. Litan is a classic cult Euro horror and Kafka-esque fever dream of surrealist imagery arrestingly shot. That sounds interesting and weird. I kind of like both of those things. So we have when a referee calls a penalty that causes a French football team to crash out of their championship, their ultra-dedicated hooligan fans vow to track him down and murder him by the end of the evening as Inspector Granowski attempts to stem the carnage with an unrelenting one-night narrative recalling after hours in Green Room, Kill the Referee mixes black humour with horror as it escalates the sense of dread building towards a shattering climax. That sounds great. Really does. A bus of 50 French tourists lay dead. Though the driver makes a call, a wanderer, Victorian, boards the bus and robs all the passengers. Returning home, he visits his Aunt Amanda and lets her in on his little secrets, unwittingly bringing her to the attention of icy hitman Alex, a conspiracy thriller reminiscent of Hitchcock. Jean-Pierre Mocky's wonderful eccentric mystery has a light comic touch that carefully balances its grotesque flourishes, featuring a wonderful cast including a uh, Cesar-nominated Dominique Levant, Pierre Arditi and Kristen Scott, Thomas in only her second screen appearance. With new 4K restorations of each film, made available on 1080p for the first time outside of France, uncompressed mono PCM audio, archival interview with Jean-Pierre Mocky, uh, archival making of Litan, newly filmed interview with journalist and broadcaster Philippe Auclair on Kill the Referee, interview with Mocky's assistant, Eric Leroy, television reportage from the set of Kill the Referee, archival interview with the director again, archival interview with Catherine Deneuve on Agent Trouble, archival interview with Richard Broringer on Agent Trouble, interview with Eric Leroy on Agent Trouble again, interview with Olivia Mokijowski uh, on Agent Trouble, new and improved English subtitles, reversible sleeve, 80-page book, and limited to 3,000 copies. That sounds all kinds of awesome and is right up my street. Uh, I I mean, I'm interested in Bandits of Orgo Solo, Sympathy for the Underdog, Fukasaku, great. This just sounds wonderful. Uh, three very different kind of movies. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Just look at the various covers they've got there yeah bring it on i see I, I i'm more than interested in these ones i would love to know your thoughts on these titles is there anything that jumps out at you there are you with me on the agitator is it just me that thinks that sounds absolutely fantastic is there a title you uh, know or have seen any of these movies and want to let me know more about them let me know in the comment box below i haven't seen any of these and i am um, also uh, always welcoming of more information. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, manvfilm.com. Always, in which you can support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.